happening let us start with the second example on equivalence classes so the problem here is frank susan and george live in boston stephen and max live in lubeck and jennifer lives in sydney so let r be an equivalence relation such that a comma b such that a b live in the same city on the set p equals to frank susan george stephanie max and jennifer then r is given by frank can live in frank frank and susan frank george susan frank susan 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 george george frank george susan george george stephanie 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 max max stephanie max max jennifer jennifer then the equivalence classes of r are given by some set of subsets how these subsets are formed is you start from frank so frank is related to frank so frank and this frank is related to susan so frank and susan come into this then susan is linked with frank so it is already there in the set then susan is linked with susan that is a reflexive then it is susan then susan is related to george so george will also come into the same set so from george again frank and george susan george george so that much only so this subset it forms reflexive symmetric this uh, within this it is reflexive symmetric and transitive so it is frank frank susan susan george george reflexive symmetric frank susan frank george and susan frank and george frank and susan george and george susan so this will form the equivalence class first equivalence class then second will be you start with stephanie so stephanie stephanie then stephanie max so stephanie max will be in the same set and max max so will also be there in the same set and max stephanie so that's all and the left out is jennifer so jennifer is related only with the jennifer so these are the three equivalence subclasses partitions of the relation r so the equivalence classes and this is the partition of p so if you make a uh, this partition so each of this subset is a reflexive symmetric and transitive that is transitive uh, properties will be satisfied by each of this subset so the equivalence classes of any equivalence relation defined on set s constitute a partition of s so this equivalence class will form the partition of the set because every element in s is associate assigned to exactly one of the equivalence classes you can see that every element of this p is belonging to only one of the equivalence classes so another example let r be a relation ab such that a is congruent to b modulo n on set of integers is r an equivalence relation so here we have to verify the properties yes answer here is given yes uh, it is reflexive symmetric and transitive so it is an equivalence relation so we have to find out what are the equivalence classes so the equivalence class of 0 contains the multiples of uh, that is 0 plus 3 0 0 plus 3 0 minus 3 that is minus 3 then 3 plus 3 6 and uh, minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 so these are the equivalence classes of 0 then for 1 it is 1 plus 3 4 1 minus 3 minus 2 then 4 plus 3 so likewise on the positive side as well as negative side it will, it will go on next like 2 so 2 plus 3 is 5 2 minus 3 is minus 1 then 5 plus 3 is 8 likewise on the right side as well as on the left side so these are the equivalence classes of r <coughs> the next one let a equals to 1 2 3 4 up to 10 and r is given by 3 divides x minus y so write the partition so 3 should be dividing x minus y so you have equivalence class 1 2 and 3 so the element uh, set a is having the elements 1 to 10 so equivalence class of 1 is nothing but 1 minus 1 is divisible by 3 3 divides uh, 0 therefore 1 is uh, equivalence class of 1 will contain then 1 minus 4 is nothing but minus 3 
So 3 divides minus 3. So 1, 4. Then plus 3. Then again plus 3. So you will get 10. Then equivalence class of 2 is 2. 2 plus 3. Then 3 plus 5. Then 3 equivalence class 3, 6 and 9. Therefore, the partition of set A is equivalence class 1, union equivalence class 2, union equivalence class 3. So, why we are not writing equivalence class 0 here is since 0 is not an element of this A, we are not going to make use of 0. So, actually you will get if this 3 divides 6 minus y, you will be getting 3 equivalence classes that is 0, 1, 2. But here instead of uh, writing uh, 0, so here we will not be using because it is not an element. So, here we start from 1. 2 and 3. A relation on set A is equal to A, B, C, D, E is defined by R equals to these are the elements. Now determine the equivalence classes of R. So first we check whether R is an equivalence relation. So since R is reflexive, since it contains all the identity elements A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E. Next R is also symmetric because whenever you have A, B, you have B, A. And you have CD, you have DC, you have DE and you have ED, you have EC and CA, CE. So therefore, it is a symmetric also. It is also transitive. So if you check any two order pairs that is AB, BA, then AA must be there. It is already there. Likewise, it satisfies the transitive. Therefore, R is an equivalence relation. Now consider the elements which are related to A. So A is related to a, then again A is related to B, B is related to A, B is related to B. So A and B will be forming one subset, that is one partition. Next you start from C, so C is related to C, C is related to D, then C is, uh, D is related to C. So C and D will form another subset. Then uh, C... D, C, E, C, E, D will form and C, D will form another set and C, E will form another set. So, we can see that partition of this uh, is given so the items from the equivalence class A, B. So, the R is, uh, R has four ordered pairs within the class. C is related to itself. So, there are three pairs with that. C, 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 D, C, E. So, C, D and E all will form one set. So, your partition will be A, B in one set and C, D, E in another set. So, this will be your final partition. That is, you have two equivalence classes for this relation. So, the last one you can verify. So, it is an equivalence relation A which induces the partition. So, this is the uh, ulta of the previous problem. So, you have set A and they have given the partitions and you need to find what are the elements of R. So, how do we find the elements of R? So, take each partition and write all the reflexive, symmetric and transitive elements. It is nothing but you have to write the Cartesian product on these three elements. So, 1, 4, if you take, so 1 into 1, comma 4 and 4, comma 1, 1, comma 1 and 4 comma 4 then 1 8 likewise you write the elements of uh, 1 4 and 8 so you'll get reflexive 1 1 4 4 8 8 symmetric 1 4 is there 4 1 is there 1 8 is there 8 1 is there then 4 8 8 4 so likewise you will get these elements from this partition next 3 3 is a single uh, element in the partition so 3 is related to 3 itself Next 5, 6. So 5 and 6 in one set. So 5, 5, 6, 6 will form the um, reflexive element. 5 is related to 6 and 6 is related to 6 uh, will form the symmetric. So next 2, 7. So 2 is related to 2. 7 is related to 7. So 2, 2, 7, 7 and 2 related to 7. 7 related to 2 since it has to be a symmetric relation. This is how you can find the elements of R. So, you should know given the relation, how to find the partition and given the partition, how to write the elements of the relation. 
नेक्स्ट इज रिलेशन ऑन सेट ए इज कॉल्ड पार्शियल ऑर्डर और पार्शियल ऑर्डरिंग इफ इट इज रिफ्लेक्सिव एंटीसिमेट्रिक एंड ट्रांसिटिव सेट ए टूगेदर विद द पार्शियल ऑर्डर आर इज कॉल्ड एज पार्शली ऑर्डर्ड सेट और ए पोसेट एंड दिस पोसेट इज डिनोटेड बाय द सेट यस विद द रिलेशन आर एग्जांपल शो दैट द इंक्लूजन रिलेशन दैट इज अ सबसेट relation is a partial ordering on the power set of a so since every set is a subset of itself so subset is a reflexive and if s is a subset of r and r is a subset of s then r is equal to s which means it's antisymmetric it is transit <coughs> transitive as r is a subset of s and s is a subset of t implies r is a subset of t therefore subset is a partial ordering on the power set of s and therefore power set of s comma subset is a poset so make a note here the symbol less than or equal to is used to denote a relation in any poset so the notation a less than b is used to denote a less than or equal to b but a is not equal to b that is nothing but a is less than b but a should not be equal to b comparability a and b be the elements of the poset s less than or equal to this is a relation on the elements of s then a and b are said to be comparable if either a is less than or equal to b or b is less than or equal to a that means two elements we say that they are comparable whenever either ab is there or ba is there otherwise we say that they are incomparable example in the poset z plus divides z plus is a set of all positive integers and divides is a relation are the integers 3 and 9 comparable so and are 7 and 10 comparable so here since 3 divides 9 they are comparable whereas 7 does not divide 10 so they are not uh, comparable so here we have to check 7 divides 10 or 10 divides 7 when both are not there then we say they are incomparable so total order is nothing but it is possible in a poset that for two elements a and b either a is less than or equal to b nor neither a less than or equal to b nor b less than or equal to a that is the elements are incomparable but in some cases such that the poset z plus less than or equal to every element is comparable to every other element so then we say that it is a totally ordered so a poset s less than or equal to is called totally ordered if the two elements of s are comparable that means every two elements of s are comparable then less than or equal to is called as a total order and the totally ordered set is called as a chain it is also called as a chain so we'll stop here and continue in the next video thank you